We are eating more fish than ever. 144 million tons of it per year. That's more than double what we ate 50 years ago. But we're not actually catching more fish. How is that possible? The answer is aquaculture. Aquaculture or aqua farming is the farming of aquatic organisms in a controlled environment. It's similar to agriculture, but with fish, oysters and algae instead of cows, chickens and corn. It's farming the sea instead of hunting it. Since the 1980s, the amount of fish caught at sea has stagnated. That's mostly because of overfishing and climate change. But even though wild fish catches are stalling, fish farming is booming. About 580 aquatic species are now farmed all over the world. It is probably the fastest growing food sector, and it now accounts for 50% of the world's consumed fish. There's many different kinds of aquaculture. There is um, two basic differences, so marine aquaculture and freshwater. When we talk about marine, we talk about um, oceans. So um, aquaculture that is a marine aquaculture that's conducted in the sea is essentially um, the same way you have fences on farms to keep the cows in. So we use pens, um, which are essentially um, nets. There can also be um, land-based aquaculture of marine organisms, so using salt water. When we talk about fresh water, on the other hand, we're obviously talking about um, organisms and plants that are grown in ponds, lakes, and rivers. Aquaculture intends to feed a growing global population healthy and sustainable protein while reducing overfishing at sea. The protein that we produce from the sea, from the oceans, has a lot of nutritional benefits that land-based protein does not have. So omega-3s, um, um, all sorts of minerals and vitamins. Aquaculture also creates jobs. People are needed for running and maintaining the aquaforms. But there are some real concerns about fish farming. Badly managed and uncontained facilities have been blamed for polluting the environment with pesticides, antibiotics, and waste. Some types of aqua farms end up being unsustainable because they raise carnivorous fish which require lots of wild fish for food, and in some places, natural habitats like mangroves have been destroyed to make space for fish farms. I started to understand that intensive industrial agriculture is not a good thing and has many, many problems. In aquaculture, we have to take those lessons and make sure we don't repeat the same mistakes for aquaculture. The EU has strict rules to ensure aquaculture's health, sustainability, and growth. Right now, Europeans are highly dependent on imported seafood, and 70% of the seafood that the EU does produce is concentrated in four member states, Spain, France, Italy, and Greece. Aquaculture accounts for approximately 25% of the consumption of seafood in the European Union, but only 10% is coming from aquaculture within the block. Guidelines are in the works to reduce red tape around starting new aqua farms, improve health measures for the fish, and make sustainable aquaculture part of the climate change solution rather than a contributor to it.